What if the dinosaurs were brought back to life? Dinosaurs last walked the Earth 65 million years ago, before an asteroid strike is believed to have led to their extinction. Despite what the media sometimes says, the awesome creatures have never coexisted with humanity, but they've fascinated us ever since we rediscovered their remains. So, what if they were to one day come back? This is Unveiled, and today we're answering the extraordinary question, what if the dinosaurs were brought back to life? Are you a fiend for facts? Are you constantly curious? Then why not subscribe to Unveiled for more clips like this one and ring the bell for more fascinating content. The idea of resurrecting dinos is popular in movies, TV, and in some legitimate academic circles. But while scientists have expressed mixed opinions on whether they actually could clone dinosaur DNA, in this video we're suggesting a much less controlled scenario. One in which, by whichever method, the prehistoric beasts simply reappear en masse. We're not imagining that only the last ever dinosaurs to walk this world return either, but that any and all of them could. And while the dinosaurs of ancient history would almost certainly struggle to breathe in the much-changed atmosphere of modern-day Earth, we're assuming that no such troubles would befall our freshly enlivened band of lizards. So what would happen? First, there's the impact on humanity itself. A bunch of new animals springing up overnight, many of them quite massive and or dangerous, would naturally necessitate some changes going forward. Although the noise of large cities could be enough to keep the big ones away, in order to safeguard smaller towns, settlements, and even individual farms, we'd quickly see large walls being built. The organization of armed militias or some kind of specialized animal control force specifically for dinosaurs, dino hunters if you will, would be another inevitable and probably prudent move. In fact, a whole industry would be built on providing any kind of dinosaur deterrent to keep them from interrupting or plain destroying human civilization. It would become an urgent matter of logistics, economics, and security. Barring a sprawling network of safely covered tunnels, overland transportation would now carry massive risk, with dinosaurs roaming the open spaces between towns. Although the long lines of traffic could feasibly spook them, as with other animals, lone vehicles would now be picked off by certain predators, all of which means there'd be fewer people taking trips unless they were absolutely necessary, leading to a widespread decline in tourism and a general trend toward people locking themselves away from the outside world. That's not to say that jobs that rely on travel would disappear, only that they'd be more dangerous and therefore more expensive. Simple goods shipping would now be a life or death line of work. Drivers of any kind could expect massive pay hikes. Sailors would now have genuine sea monsters to contend with, and the emergency services, though now needed more than ever, could encounter all types of colossal creatures on their way to a call-out. On the other hand, the dinosaurs themselves would offer other new possibilities for profit. Given the variety of dinosaur there is, we'd surely see some get domesticated. Yes, in terms of household pets, only the smaller breeds could feasibly be brought into the home, but lots could be better suited as grazing livestock in supersized farmyards. Whether or not we'd eventually farm them for meat would be a prominent ethical issue. But even before that, we could see certain dinotypes repurposed as beasts of burden, stronger and more productive than even today's purpose-built farming machines. Dinosaurs would also be at the center of illegal and less regulated industries, though. The exotic animal trade would see a boom like never before, with traders looking for increasingly dangerous dinosaur pets, rare and unusual meats, or simply trophy kills to display in their homes. Let's say that we were able to quickly manage the situation, though. It wouldn't be surprising for real-life Jurassic Parks to open up either. In spite of, or likely because of, the danger that some dinosaurs bring, people would flock into dino zoos to A, marvel at the animals themselves, and B, to understand exactly how and why they were brought back. 
is hoping that whoever sets these parks up invests in better security measures than they do in the films though. Whether or not we kept dinosaurs in captivity for our own entertainment, an age in which the dinosaurs return would be a dream come true for paleontologists and researchers. The opportunity to observe living dinosaurs would answer countless questions that examining their fossilized bones simply can't, providing previously impossible insights into things like dino behavior and their specific vocalizations. Very quickly and as long as TV stations still had a workforce willing to risk the commute to work, we'd see dino documentaries as the next great trend in television. Of course, much of those documentaries would explore the effect that revived dinosaurs would have on the food chain, with new creatures contending with the old. Smaller carnivorous dinosaurs would now face competition from existing predators that they'd never have encountered millions of years ago, most of which are naturally better suited to this world. Meanwhile, the bigger ones like the famed T-Rex would still reign supreme with very few animals from now or before to threaten them. The plant eaters might have a tougher time adapting though. With a typically more specialized diet than the all-consuming carnivorous dinosaurs, they'd encounter a modern world in which the vegetation has both significantly changed and significantly depleted. They could still thrive, but could also starve without human intervention. And if the herbivores promptly die out, then those carnivores could soon follow. Or in a bid to stay alive in their new surroundings, they'd more feverishly set their sights on catching, killing, and eating the birds, reptiles, fish, and mammals, including people, that now walked their world. Whichever way it plays out, there'd be a monumental wave of extinctions as the natural world tries to reset itself into some sort of balance. Could humans survive it? Could even the dinosaurs survive it? We'd more than likely have a fight on our hands. And if and when panic takes hold, humans would set about stemming dino populations to preserve their own. Dinosaurs may have ruled the Earth long ago, but today, for better or worse, humans try to call the shots. Jurassic Park megazoos aside, it'd be an interesting but inconceivably dangerous time to be alive. And that's what would happen if the dinosaurs were brought back to life. What do you think? Is there anything we missed? Let us know in the comments, check out these other clips from Unveiled, and make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for our latest content.